Look at that. Check this thing out in the lot. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. tuning in this week uh, for our weekly episode. Uh, as you can see, we're down here baking in the sun on this fresh concrete down at the new facility. Last time we gave you guys an update was three or four months back. It was some poles standing there. So wanted to show you uh, outside of the shop and then also inside kind of what we've got going on. A lot of things have happened, a lot of things moving. Uh, getting a lot of people asking, when, what's going on down there? What's, you know, people wanting to know, uh, wanting to know when we're in. So that's what we want to do today. Obviously, you see behind us, we got the R8s here. Uh, as you both know from earlier videos, we both have R8s. Uh, we, we've got some exciting things in the works for those. Make sure to stay tuned on, on this video. We're going to show you around the shop, kind of show you what's going on here, and then we're going to jump back over to those. Uh, we've got some pretty pretty exciting stuff going on that. So. You said everything that I was going to say. So <laughs> you, you didn't shut up. I was waiting on him to stop talking about something so I could like put two cents in. But hey, like usual, Bill just drowns me out. I'm, hey, I'm the talker. I'm the yeah, one whatever. I'm going. the brains behind the operation. Yeah. But okay. anyway, it's been a while. We want to show you guys the shop. Recap, like Bill said, uh, recap what we're going to be doing here and million dollar question, when are we getting in? It's coming. Uh, so yeah, let's let's start. You want to start inside? Sure. We start over here. Start yeah. start over here. In the uh, customer lounge, uh, shop, show, or, or, uh, showroom area. We showed you guys a little bit of this on an earlier video, but from some of the new new guys tuning in, new people tuning in, uh, we'll show you show you what we got going on the existing yeah. building that's been here. So. If you missed the first video, make sure to go back. Uh, I don't know, 15 weeks ago, something like that. Uh, you can see kind of what this place was like earlier. Sales desk, Cody, Chris, Austin, all of those guys will be up here. Come in, check in, drop your keys off, all that good stuff. We have plenty of parking out front. I know it's been extremely uh, stressful down at the old facility with parking, so bear with us. We're almost there. Get parked. If you're waiting, we'll redirect you back around. There's a customer lounge over on the side over here. Has some refreshment, snacks, refrigerator, AC, all that good stuff. You can hang out in there, wait on your vehicle. As you can see, we've got a, a nice big showroom, which is, uh, if you've been to our shop before, something we don't have at all now. We don't don't have much of an office, showroom, anything. So plan is we'll actually have uh, a lot of products on display where right now we don't have, we've got like six wheels on display, uh, but we'll have, you know, lift kits maybe hung on the wall. We're gonna do some running boards. You know, there's just so much more stuff that we do that a lot of people don't even, you know, realize that we do just because they don't see it. So uh, got some cases built on the walls here for wheels. Uh, we're gonna get into some more Tubro's apparel once we get down here. Liam, Liam's yeah. gonna be. Yeah, Liam, yeah. Liam's Liam. in charge of that. Hat, shirts, hoodies. Um, you know, we've, we've dabbled in it in the past, but we just, we don't have anywhere to put that stuff yeah. really right now. And it always ends up kind of just being more of a, a hassle than it's worth, but have some dedicated space here, which is gonna be nice, so. Okay, bear with us, sorry for the mess. We've a lot of construction going on, a lot of trash and stuff, we're getting that cleaned up. Uh, this is the main uh, shop space over here on the existing building. This will basically do most of our mechanical work, anything, the dirty stuff, you know, fluids, uh, oil changes, all that stuff will kind of mostly be kept over here. Obviously, we'll still be doing some of that over here. Over there. Uh, customer lounge that I mentioned is just right here. Uh, obviously, we're coming through the shop, but as a customer, you would go back around the front. It's coming down that wall. I came over here one night when it was pouring, my driveway was flooding, and it literally runs down that wall. You can't see where any water was. I got pictures. Yeah. You can see. Anyway, we've got a little bit of a dilemma here. This used to be a, a shop bay years and years ago. Yeah. Uh, the former car lot that was here, they had remodeled it into a, a customer lounge, which is what we're using it for as well. But as you can see, we got a little bit of a water issue. We've got to still figure out, but painted all this, TV on the wall. As Bill mentioned, we'll have refreshments, drinks, coffee, little Debbie's. All that good stuff in here. Nice, cool AC, 
heat in the winter, somewhere nice for people to hang out while they're while they're waiting on yeah. their stuff, yeah, which is going to be big. Sometimes we'll have 15 people in our showroom down there. It's about yeah. 300 square foot. Everybody's on top of each other. Nobody ever complains, and we appreciate that. But, oh, yeah. But uh, we were trying I mean, to make it nicer yeah. for, for you guys. You Chris, Chris talked to a guy yesterday that uh, I think is coming down from, like, Indiana, and he's going to be waiting with his truck all day, you know, while we do a lift wheel tire package, you know. So this will be something nice for those people that are traveling several hours to, you know, shop with us that they can hang out have wi-fi all that good stuff starbucks really across the street yeah starbucks nice. across the street well, gas well, station well, across the street oh, yeah. we got we got it all we'll home. shuttle you wherever we want or wherever you want we'll get wild bill to will to take wild them. bill yeah he's the man three more messy over here so we won't take you in there and show you all that but three more bays over here mostly uh you know overflow storage flat stall stuff uh these this building built 100 years ago so not very deep, so can't put any racks or anything over there, but uh, at least some more. Detailing bay, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. Uh, we, got, we'll we got some ideas for these three bays over yeah. here. We'll touch on that later. Yeah. Keep that I, kind of a. I mean, one, once we get in here and get everything laid out, yeah. um, no lifts are going to be in these bays, like he said, flat style. Right. So got some ideas kicking around. Uh, so we'll, as Mac we'll, mentioned, if you'll tune back into the old video or the, the last update video, uh, and part of that, and Liam, you can probably pop it up whenever I'm down at the end of the building down there and show the parking lot. There's nothing there. I'd like to pop that back up now yeah. and then show you what's down this, there now. This is what we're really excited about. Um, as you can see, we've got a uh, pretty, pretty open parking lot here, pretty, quite a bit more room to kind of expand on. So we're, we're doing an extension over here. Again, can't say too much about it. We're super, super excited about that. That's gonna be the, the biggest, biggest thing to this whole puzzle here. Uh, you gotta, you gotta tune back in. When we get the construction started, we're fixing to break ground pretty soon. So, so it seems like it was forever ago. This has been such a process and uh, just takes a lot of time. But I was standing here, uh, said, hey, we can't mention much on this yet because it was still in process with the city and getting permits and all that stuff. But I remember it like it was yesterday. This is just a big sea of asphalt. Uh, as you can see, we're putting up uh, some of the additional shop space. For everybody that comes down knows our inventory room is like our warehouse is across the street from where we're at now we're broken up into multiple locations uh, we're gonna have a nice as you can see this is about 30 foot tall uh, two-story uh, shop or uh, inventory room warehouse we can keep all our wheels tires all that, as everybody knows that's uh, you know kind of one of the things we pride ourselves on we keep a lot of inventory in stock a lot of the hottest models and whatnot so and then of course we need more shop space so we we're picking up office space and parking but we were losing shop space with this existing building. So that's where this comes in. Uh, we wanna take you inside and show you that. We've mentioned on it a little bit in a couple of other videos, but we wanna show you kinda of everything's gonna lay out. Guys are here working hard at it. They're doing some more concrete work, uh, electrical work. So it's all, it's all coming along. Yeah. Okay, so making our way into the new shop here, the new addition. This first side, the taller side from the outside looking in uh, on the left is going to be our warehouse, inventory room, how, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, we've got a uh, restroom here for employees. We're thinking we're going to, this building's very tall, I mean, at the peaks, like 43 feet. So, I mean, it's a tall, tall building, cumbersome building. We're going to do a second floor, um, maybe 12, 14 foot high, put our inventory up there. We have, put, obviously, essentially doubles our warehouse space build that up top uh, that way we can store wheels up top not lose any any uh, floor space gonna have uh, this is gonna kind of serve as like a fast lane for wheels and tires any, any of you guys know that's been down done business with us you call and order something or if we got it in stock whatever the case may be we already have it mounted balanced ready to go two three four days prior to your actual install and appointment so we'll have that stuff sitting down here ready to go simple as pulling it in if it's only getting wheels and tires, obviously, if it's getting a lift kit or level kit or anything like that, it'll have to go on a rack, but pull it in, floor jacket, slap wheels and tires on, torque them to spec, relearn TPMS, out the, out the back door. Uh, simple, quick, easy way to, to do that. Changers, balancers are gonna be right here. Keeps them over here on the warehouse side, uh, out of the way of the, the shop side. Moving, moving over to the to the shop side of, of the building. It's all one building. It's just, as you see, it's a 14 foot arch here opening. We don't have all our lifts set yet. These are new lifts that we purchased. Uh, we're actually gonna be moving some down and we've got a couple of more lifts on order that we're still waiting on. Uh, we'll have, I think about six 10,000 pound lifts over here. One drive on, that's seven. 
you know, five, five, 10,000, a drive on, two aligners, and then I think a couple of 12 or 14,000 pound lifts for your 350s, 450s, 4500s, 5500s. Um, again, on some of the earlier videos, we touched back on alignments. Um, Liam's car, for instance, it's hammered, I mean, slammed on the ground. Uh, this backside uh, of the shop is going to have a nice transition where we're at now for all you lowered guys You've seen we have to put boards down and push the cars up in there and try to be as careful as possible We do a good job at it. We make it work But now we're going to have a, a completely flat in ground uh, recessed aligner. We already do It's just the entrance from the shop. So we're moving that one down. We've got a brand new aligner sitting over here It's been been here uh, for a few months now, so it's ready to go in They're gonna start putting that together this week. So, all in all, realistically, we've got you know a couple of months still of work to be done. The guys are here busting tail on, on electrical work. Uh, as you can see, there's, I, mean, I don't know if you can tell in the videos, but lots and lots of conduit. Uh, very high ceilings again, a lot of, lot of stuff moving. Uh, we're down to the kind of the final stuff. Uh, stepping outside, come back here on the backside. We've had to do concrete in, in three or four phases. Uh, when we first inquired about the building, we knew that that, that wasn't gonna be enough shop space for us, but we were, you know, that was the plan all along was to build some additional shop space. One thing we didn't take into account, obviously we're car guys. We don't work on, uh, work, work on construction or work in construction. So we didn't take into effect the, or into account the elevation change. We had an extreme elevation change over this building's uh, 80 feet deep. Um, so with that being said, they had to dig out some of the asphalt that was here. First poured the slab for the concrete. Second phase was the front entrance where the, the cars are parked. Now they're fixing to do, actually tomorrow, fixing to do around the outside as a border. They're gonna have to put a drainage uh, system in here to keep the water from coming out. That'll go around the outside. We've got to do some sidewalk and curbing for the city. So there's just a, a lot going into it. So all you people asking, we, I promise you, we want to be in here just as quick as we can. I know you guys want us to be in here. Everybody's excited for us and we can't, can't thank you enough for the support, but it's just uh, a, a, lot to, a lot to do. Uh, some big things that we had to overcome, some big hurdles being here in the city, new renovation coming downtown for uh, beautifying downtown historic uh, Cleveland. And that was a big hurdle for us. So, been a learning curve, but it's gonna be worth it. Fence will be going in soon. We gotta have fence for insurance purposes. Obviously there's a lot of riffraff and stuff walking around down here. So we wanna keep everybody's uh, investments protected. When you drop them off with us, we don't have to worry about people rummaging through cars or stealing stuff or damaging them. So we'll have a, a barbed wire fence, uh, six, eight, nine foot tall fence that goes around, some couple of gates for uh, shipping and receiving in and out. All the trucks will be into the back. It's, uh, we're setting it up. We plan to be here for a long time. We're uh, way over budget, but at the same time, we want it to be right. Um, do this one time and be done. Uh, everybody always used to tell me, buy once, cry once, and uh, that's that's been the scenario here for sure. So bear with us. We appreciate you tuning in and, and watching, and let me give you my spiel of what's going on here and, and kind of what's taking so long, but uh, I, I promise you we'll be here soon. Uh, we're going to do a big open house car show, have a bunch of vendors out, food trucks, all that stuff when we get in. Uh, obviously, we'll have to get in first, get situated, but maybe a month or so after we get in, we're going to do that. So it's probably sometime in the fall. Make sure to you know follow along, stay tuned on that. We're going to have some cool stuff out, have some exotics, some really nice trucks. Uh, we'll have some have some cool stuff for sure, some things for the kids to do. So make sure to keep keep following along and uh, keep up with that. We'll promote it real big on social media and a lot of a lot of our vendors. Uh, shout out to those guys are coming on board and going to help out with that. So um, let's jump into the R8 stuff. All right, we got you a shop update. Now, we got some exciting news on the R8s. Mac and I are both, he's over there on the phone acting like he's busy, you know, but he's not, he's probably over there gibbering about something. We're super competitive, we always have been. We've raced motorcycles together, four-wheelers, dirt bikes, all that stuff, cars. I picked up an R8, of course, he'll be just like me, so he picks up an R8. I've got a turbo kit already for mine. Fortunately, we've been very busy at the shop. I uh, hadn't had time to install it. Been trying to hopefully get this going and get at least get the lift down here so we can get started on it in the next three or four weeks is the game plan. Just got the MoTeC in last week. Had to go down to Atlanta and pick it up. Shout out to my boy Rob. He uh, always taking care of it. He tunes my GTR, He's the best MoTeC tuner in the world. Uh, I appreciate you, sir. I don't even know what all this does. I'm not even gonna act like I do, but MoTeC, he's gotta have, uh, 
I think like three modules or three controllers, two, two, three, something like that. So it's one of the most in-depth MoTeC systems that they offer for people that are not familiar with MoTeC. And a lot of F1 cars and some of the fastest cars in the world, they've got sensors for everything. You can monitor everything. Uh, my tuner, Rob, that's all he tunes on is, is MoTeC. That's all he recommends. It's uh, some of the, like I said, the, actually not some of the best out there. Turbo kit, we're doing a Boost Logic. Uh, turbos are 3582s. Been waiting on Zohair and Heath for six Boost Logic weeks. We were we were close to the six week mark. We only missed it by about six weeks. But hey, worth the wait. Let's see what we got here. Everybody's been commenting on YouTube, especially David. You need to build the the, the R8. See who's just faster. Well, I think I just won, David. For now. Matt, yeah, until Matt, until Mac does his, yeah. Anything I do, he does. Oh, oh, there he is. Wait a minute. Look at this, boys. Holy cow. Let's get this out here in the sunlight. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. Dang, even carbon intake runners. Full billet. Shoot, yeah. Nice work, guys. Looks great. This is the first kit I've seen in person, so excited to get the Boost Logic kit. I give Zohair and uh, Heath a lot of a lot of hard time, but obviously with with good means. Just joking with them, so I wouldn't have chose their kit if it wasn't uh, wasn't good quality stuff. So got it on my GTR. Been good stuff. So looking looking forward to it on the R8. It's going to turn out pretty cool. So oh yeah, look at that. Look at those pie cuts, dude. Look at that. That's a true work of art. Very nice work. Little baby turbos, you know. I'm probably the most excited about this out of anything. I've always wanted a twin turbo, twin turbo Huracan really, but I can't fit. So R8, ne next best thing. You so, barely fit an R8. I barely fit an R8. Barely fit in a 600, so hey, it is what it is. Should be playing basketball, not, not playing with cars, but yeah. An illusion purple color to match the bolts on the on the wheels. Uh, we got the three-piece AG carbon barrels. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to do the trans while we got it out. Uh, after the 13, 1400 mark wheel horsepower clutches start to slip and have some issues, so I'm hoping to send the trans off while we've got it apart. Depending on time frame and everything, send that off. Get the uh, get the clutches redone. Get the trans built. Probably go into a billet gear set and all that stuff. I plan to eventually maybe do some drag racing in the car. So we're going to do a full install video, a uh, lot of lot of media on it. So make sure to keep tuning back in again. Hopefully in the next, I don't know, three, four, five weeks, something like that. Once we can get a rack moved down, get some power, get some air, we'll start working out of this shop a little bit. That's probably going to be one of the first projects. I don't know if Max's going to twin turbo his or not. He's he's always three steps behind. So we'll see. Uh, I, he he talks like it. So. Hopefully we'll get a kit for his soon as well. Uh, the Motex have been super hard to get. It took like, I don't know how long, Rob had to hold it for a little while for me. I couldn't get down there to see him, but um, they've been super hard to get. So again, make sure to keep, keep tuning in on that. It's gonna be pretty sick. Uh, get to see some uh, pretty cool content. So make sure to share this, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're still trying to get that built up. We're 25 weeks or so, right Liam? Something like that end of this and it's still not taking off as much as it should but at the same time it's 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 getting some good good uh, feedback a lot of people liking it enjoying it we appreciate all the people that are tuning in each and every week to to see it doesn't go unnoticed so we appreciate that uh, make sure to subscribe and share it with your friends and let them know about it but again thanks for tuning in we can't thank you guys enough for all the support if it wasn't for you guys we couldn't do what we do uh, we love what we do we love taking care of our people so uh, shout out again we appreciate you guys peace